welcome to Thai Legal Studies YouTube channel. My name is Adam Riki. In this video, my colleague Lassa Schultz and I will be giving a very short preview of each article in our inaugural issue. If you'd like to hear a full-length video podcast of Dr. Lassa Schultz and I discussing each article in much more detail and hear what we really think, then please click on the link in the description and that will take you straight there. But for now, please enjoy. The Child is the Patel Trade Making Law and Love in Ayutthaya Siam by Chris Baker and Pasuk Pongpaiche. In this article, the authors take a fresh look at one of the texts from the Three Seals Code, the law on husband and wife. The authors argue that rather than being viewed as modern day style legislation, this article should be viewed as an archive of different judgments and decrees accumulated over time. The authors use close reading of the text to argue that the role of the courts was conciliation and they offer a speculative history of lawmaking in this era. Towards deeper judicialization, explaining the Thai government's increasing engagement with international adjudication by Phil Sangrai. This article investigates the increasing engagement of the Thai government in international adjudication over the last two decades. The author argues that this development can be understood as part of a wider judicialization of international relations that's being shaped by four conditions. The Thai government's increasing acceptance of the jurisdiction of various courts and tribunals, the increase in the number of potential claimants, the changing composition of international litigator communities, and a strategic increase in the engagement of Thai government officials in these litigator communities. Law and Identity – The Case of the Common Law of Scotland with Comparative Insights from Thailand by Kong Satcha Suwanapet and Paul De Places. This article looks at the legal systems of Scotland and Thailand and argues that grand narratives of concepts like civil law or legal science have obscured a proper understanding of the mechanics of each legal system. The authors argue that a different approach is required to view each legal system from a post-positivistic standpoint. The main thrust of the article is not to abandon all such categorizations, but rather not to over-exaggerate them. In their article, Possibilities for Decentralization in Thailand, a view from Chiang Mai, Andrew Harding and Rawin Lila Patana describe the Chiang Mai Metropolitan Administration Bill and analyze it with regard to its potential of perhaps revolutionizing the process of decentralization in Thailand. They connect the bill, which is still in the making, which has not yet been enacted, to the historical development of decentralization and um, to the yeah, uh, highly centralized character of the current system of administration in Thailand. They argue that the bill could indeed reverse the local central relations in Thailand and also could add a strong democratic element to decentralization. Frank Manga, Peter Wito Vidya Wade and Wada Pichaya Rabia Blog contributed the article Women Lawyers for Social Causes professional careers and legal development in Thailand. In their article, they focus on the, th the careers of three women lawyers for social causes. That means, for example, for human rights litigation, environmental and land ownership litigation. And they describe and analyze these careers before the background of the development of the legal profession in Thailand. They use the analytical prism of so-called capital, which they define as, for example, uh, family background, a certain education, the influence of professors, as well as the building of professional networks and also the creation of a more internationalized legal profession. Overall, they thereby give a very deep insight into the development of the legal profession and particularly of the role of women in it. Rights to own and operate a hydro floating solar project in Thailand is the title of the article written by Piti Iam Janun La. In the article, the author first of all describes the legal framework that applies to this kind of energy generation, which refers to solar panels on water. The author is rather optimistic that the current legal framework is sufficient and generally contributes to these kinds of projects. Although the author also argues that there are some legal obstacles that may still need to be resolved for example, the question 
of who is the owner of public water surfaces on which then these projects will be realized. Pudit Watananawakun and I have written the article Thailand's Law on Criminal Online Falsehoods, a critical discussion. In our article, we particularly discuss the provision of Section 14 of the Thai Computer Crime Act, which covers, among other things, also the criminalization of online falsehoods. We connect this law to the general development of online falsehood legislation in Southeast Asia, but we then particularly look at the problems of interpretation and the systematic structure of this provision. We also discuss questions of its constitutionality with regard to the right of freedom of expression. In our commentary, Kim Tawan, Niti Utai and I discuss the Supreme Court jurisprudence on corporate criminal liability in the years 2010 to 2020. This area of law is very much disputed until today regarding its doctrinal uncertainties and we take a look at how these uncertainties have played out in the last 10 years and we particularly look at one question which is the question whether or not legal persons and natural persons can be joint principles. And last but certainly not least in our book review, Tong Chai Winicha Kun reviews the book Thai Legal History from Traditional to Modern Law, which was edited by Andrew Harding and Moulin Pong Sapan and which was published this year by Cambridge University Press. In his review, Professor Tong Chai not only critically discusses the various contributions to this edited volume, but very nicely illustrates how these contributions reflect the different narratives and perceptions of legal history in Thailand. <music>